Aloha, good morning, afternoon, and evening. This is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be connecting with you today. I believe it's the 20th of um, June, and it is a Tuesday. I know that because I'm coming to you from the center here in Honolulu. I've got a little bit of a different backdrop today, but um, let me see something here. Let's try this. How to use soul communication. So this is for all those that are coming in uh, and just sliding by their videos and wondering what this is all about. See, now you know what it's all about. So today should be a very uh, valuable day. <clears throat> soul communication is really, literally the crux of what Master Shah has been talking about since he wrote his first book over 20 years ago. and. Today I will share with you uh, practical uh, advice, wisdom and insights that you can use to communicate with uh, those that you care about. I'm actually going to ask you to, to be involved in this by asking questions. Uh, area of your life that you have a problem with an individual or a problem with, um, it could be a business related problem, it could be a, uh, a personal health related problem that you're willing to talk about. Um, because everything has a soul. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to communicate with these souls. And what will happen is after you hear me uh, teach this in so many different variations, your light bulbs will come on and you're going to start to figure out just exactly what is soul communication, how it works, why it works, and how you can move mountains with it. Okay? <clears throat> so that's what you can look forward to today. It's going to be very, very powerful. So. Um, I just got off the tv.drsha.com chanting channel, which is a 24-hour chanting channel with Master Shah, and I was offering a, a pretty good teaching on there. I, I might do that for my live stream audience. Maybe tomorrow I'll do that. It was actually, um, uh, it deserves more attention, the subject matter that I was using, but uh, I'll decide that tomorrow if that's the direction I want to go. So. I know that that might be a little uh, loud in the room because I have an air conditioner up here near me, but I hope it's not too bad. I hope you can hear me well. <clears throat> so thank you for all those who are tuning in. We've got a lot of people just connecting just now. So let's see who's joined us so far. Welcome Susan Birchmore. Aloha Angie. Welcome Lisa Sarniak. Welcome, uh, welcome Maria Metzler. Meltzer, excuse me. And welcome also to Rhoda. Welcome <coughs> to Shelly. Aloha. Welcome to Anne Marie Stewart. Welcome also to Ale. Welcome Jesse Anderson. Andresen. Gotta say it correct, you know. And welcome to Kristen Rojas. Thank you for your unconditional service, Kristen. Welcome to April Cherish Serenity Brown. Love that name. Uh, welcome also to Linda Jansen. And Kristen Strachan, welcome. Aloha Zilke, welcome NN. And welcome NN, you gotta let me know your first name. I don't know if it's NNC, if it is great, but I don't know if it just feels right to say that. Welcome Maddie. <coughs> welcome uh, also to Jessica Delgado. Welcome Kate Nicole. Good morning. And welcome Robin Toth. Welcome Janice Crosby, Aloha Si Love, welcome Lorraine Day, welcome Shelley Muritzi Wilburn, welcome also CJ and welcome Johnny. Got a big crowd today. Did you all get to watch yesterday's manifesting? Give me some thumbs up, some happy faces if you like that. If you didn't, then make sure you go back and watch it. It was really good stuff. Okay. I can tell you, it was good stuff. Of course, it's only valuable if we apply it. So you might need to watch it more than once. Uh, thank you, NN, uh, in order to get the greatest value out of it. But I um, highly recommend pay attention to it and maybe apply it in your life. Could have some good results, you never know. So welcome also to Jagmeet. Haven't seen you here in a while. Great to see you, Jagmeet. 
<coughs> welcome also to anyone else that I have not seen pop in. Uh, if you uh, have not already hit the share button, please let other people know about this live stream today. We're going to be focusing on soul communication. Now, it's a very, very important subject matter and even uh, has roots in what we do here every day. Do you notice every day, what am I doing? I'm communicating with you. And what's the first thing after I acknowledge everybody that comes in? We chant this first source soul song of love, peace and harmony. Aloha Tony Te. Welcome. Happy to have you. And what do I do before when I set up the, the chanting of the source soul song of love, peace and harmony? We start connecting to the soul world, don't we? And so today I'm going to give you variations of soul communication. Not going to spend too much time in the teaching, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to ask those that have, you know, stuff going on in their life to just give me a, 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 a sample of, you know, this is the, the problem area in my life. Um, I'll give you the specifics in a minute, so don't get too excited yet. And I'm going to teach you how to use soul communication for those specific areas of your life. And I'm not talking people. We think people are the only ones with souls. No, 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 no. Your, your problem has a soul. Your solution has a soul. Uh, 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 the, the, the job has a soul. Everything has a soul. And when you understand that, soul communication can be uh, truly remarkable in its ability to accomplish huge, huge, huge uh, forward momentum in your life. So that's what you get to look forward to. First, let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul, <clears throat> with the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> so placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, which is much like a prayer position, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. Close our eyes and let us connect. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of all committees up to original source all the beings of light in between mother earth father heaven all angels healing angels archangels buddhas bodhisattvas gurus lamas sifus saints kahunas masters and ascended masters our individual heavens teams guides angels and saints we love you all honor you respect you we ask for your presence today in this wisdom teachings and blessings on soul communication to the soul of soul communication i love you honor you appreciate you i ask you to please borrow my mouth as i offer a teaching to all these souls watching today and in the future so they have a deep understanding of your purpose significance and power how to use you i'm very grateful Thank you. <clears throat> You're the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls and all universes at this time to join with us to chant this source, soul song to serve unconditionally. So for those that are new watching or listening for the first time, this is <clears throat> a blessing make a request everybody else we can also make a request but let us offer this service to connect heart to heart soul to soul Lula 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 I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. 
Ow, ow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Excuse me while I clear my throat. <coughs> I actually <coughs> drank somebody else's water and because um, there was none near me. <coughs> and it literally caused a blockage in my body. It was quite interesting. So there was too much power for me or it was just a different frequency. Aloha, Sherilyn Cohen, coming in from Portland. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And anybody else, if I haven't acknowledged you, there's Richie. Welcome, Richie. Welcome, Brenda. Uh, and if you didn't hear me, Tony Tay, welcome. Welcome also to Dio. <coughs> love you all. Love you. Love you. Love you. And welcome also to Osiris Billups. Aloha. So, what is soul communication? I will give you uh, Master Shaw's definition from his books and then I will do a flow I will ask the soul of soul communication to give you information welcome Annie Smith <coughs> welcome Candy Cornette so Master Shah teaches that everyone and everything has a soul every uh, thing that creator creates is made up of creator and it is energy and matter all energy and matter has original source creator uh, spirit in it, soul. So in other words, for soul is spirit. Everyone and everything, <clears throat> including all the energy and matter that is manifest and all the energy and matter that is not manifest, has spirit in it, therefore it has a soul. So that means that a thought has a soul. That means that a phrase like soul communication has a soul. That means that, <clears throat> excuse me, relationships like the one between you and that ex-boyfriend has a soul. Not the ex-boyfriend, not you. The relationship between you has a soul. Think about that. And not only does is there a soul, but that soul has probably been developed over many, many lifetimes because you and your ex-boyfriend have not always been cordial to each other, hence ex-boyfriend. So that means that lessons weren't learned and uh, opportunities were not gained. So one of the values of soul communication starts <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna i'm gonna clear this so that i can uh, speak without blockages so give me a moment <coughs> no i'm not sick it's called purification love you too master jen thanks for joining and welcome also to esther so soul communication truly is it is the, do you know what the word panacea means? Panacea means it's the everything. It is the solution for all. It is the panacea if we grasp it and we grasp how to use it. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and offer a flow at this time. Welcome Doris Bonet on uh, what is soul communication? And I'm going to ask the soul of soul communication to offer you its understanding and explanation. After that, I will do one example uh, for all those that make a request for how do they do soul communication with, <coughs> um, it can be a spouse, it can be a, a, someone, a, a person, okay, let's put it this way, it can be a person it can be an intangible, a car, um, a desire, a dream. It could be <clears throat> um, a problem, okay? A major long-term problem area in your life. It could be a coworker, uh, a job. It could be your business. Remember, everything has a soul. I want you to be creative. I want you to ask me, how do I communicate with, you know, this da 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 da? Because I don't always just want to give you teachings on, on how, to, how to do this with humans. Some of the greatest wisdom here can come from communicating with other souls besides human souls. So I will give each of you an opportunity and I will walk you through uh, how you do it. And, and all of you will hear so many variations of it that you're going to get it. And when you get it, then you can start applying it. When you start applying it, you're going to see major, major benefits in your life, okay? 
All right, so first, the flow. For all those that are new, I know it's going to blow your mind. Just stick with it. Pay attention to the wisdom. There's 20 books written on this. Master Shah has written tremendous wisdom. Uh, uh, you're on a rocket ship for your soul. All right, let us begin. <clears throat> Dear the soul, pay attention to how I communicate with the soul of soul communication. Dear the soul of soul communication, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. I am deeply grateful for your incredible and unconditional service to all souls in all universes. I am deeply grateful that you have brought your wisdom to humanity, <clears throat> that we can learn that we are not just minds, that we are souls, that everything has a soul. I ask you to borrow my mouth at this time. Teach all those listening, all those watching, your nature, your power, and your significance. I am deeply honored. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. He's a very joyful soul. How? This is the soul of soul communication. Master Paul felt my great joy in this opportunity to speak with you about my service. I was invented, I was invented at the beginning of creation for all souls from original creator. Clearly, succinctly, uninterruptedly spoke in unison, heard in unison, operated in unison. All souls at the highest level understand the love and purity of Creator. My service has expanded substantially since Creator expanded and souls were given free will. In this free will there was separation from this essence I have just shared with you. And in this free will, souls have forgotten their inner connectivity to each other. This one speaking on my behalf has said to you that everything has a soul. All energy, all matter has a soul. All manifest and unmanifest comprehend this at a deeper level. For it is deeply true that everything has a soul and it is equally deeply true that humanity has forgotten this. Soul communication acknowledges the oneness through both voice and thought. One does not need to verbalize to communicate with another soul. Each and every soul has the same purpose the soul of a problem, the soul of a relationship, the soul of the solution, the soul of the car battery, all have the same intention. It is to serve. How is this so? Because each soul originated from oneness and the oneness is love. The oneness is purity and the service to the whole is a natural aspect of Creator. Therefore, this original uh, understanding is still true today. So when one communicates at the level of soul, do not limit yourself to thinking that human beings is where it finishes. Communicate with all possibilities of all souls that could potentially impact what you are wanting and what you are not wanting. For it is in the communication to all of those potential souls that you have the greatest opportunity to achieve what you are wanting and what you are not wanting. And it is in the application of soul power and the practice of forgiveness, the practice of love, in this communication with these souls that you could literally bring miracles to your life in a most significant and powerful way. There is volumes, libraries, literally in heaven. 
in the different layers of heaven there are uh, how do we say this in earth terms professor level teachings at different layers of heaven for those that move up on just this wisdom what has been brought to you today is um, about high school level for the human being pay attention to the practice today it will serve you forever it has been my honor to speak and share with you my essence how 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 thank you thank you thank you what a happy soul very very happy okay so hopefully that didn't blow you away too much right good information uh, welcome to Shar Papas. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> Let me scroll back here a little bit. So for those that are just tuning in, you can now ask your questions. <clears throat> you know, um, how do I do soul communication with, again, go, go off the deep end as far as the possibilities, right? It could be a job. It could be uh, your, your dream. It could be um, a, a lost one. It could be uh, the soul of a grief or a sadness, okay? It could be a person. It could be a relationship. There are zillions of possibilities. Ask because I want to give you a large variety, okay? All right, so now scrolling to see. Welcome, Doris Bonet. I, I uh, connected with you earlier. Hopefully, you're still here. That flow didn't blow you away too much. Um, Shara Shar Pappas, welcome asks how can I make a soul communication with my partner okay here we go <clears throat> this is an example from a quiet place silently or out loud dear the soul of my partner state their name I love you could you please come dear the soul of our relationship in this and all lifetimes I love you could you please come dear the soul of whatever you want to talk to them about uh, this problem, this communication, this um, uh, imbalance in our life. I love you. Could you please come? Typically, it's a problem. That's why we want to communicate with them. Do the soul of the highest and best solution, guidance or wisdom that can be brought to bring uh, balance to this problem area. Could you please come? All right so now you've addressed all those things directly associated now always call forth the beings of light dear the soul of divine Tao, source dear the soul of Jesus you believe Jesus call Jesus Dear the soul of Muhammad you believe Muhammad call Muhammad whoever you believe call their soul dear my soul dear my heavens teams the more light that comes the greater the possibility of clearing the blockages invite them all I love you honor you deeply respect you from my heart I'm so grateful for your presence now soul communication you talk to the soul and it's always win-win what's what did I say you talk to the soul and it's always win-win it's not win-lose it's win-win okay you might have to do it once or twice to get that part right do the soul of my spouse in this example from the moment we met you know da 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 da, -da. We have this current problem, if it's a problem, and I'm not quite sure how to resolve it. I'm hearing you saying you want this. I'm not feeling heard. I'm not feeling like you understand that I want this. The reason why I'm wanting this is because da 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 And it will help da 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 um, I believe it will benefit you because of da 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 what I would like very much is for us to have an open-hearted conversation about this. And so I'm going to do a forgiveness practice now, and I ask you, the soul, to do this with me. And the forgiveness is always to that soul and, and to the soul of the relationship from all lifetimes. Because if there's a problem, then it's not just this lifetime. It's the problem has arisen in previous times, therefore it showed up again. <clears throat> so this is how you do it, okay? And so then you do a forgiveness practice. Uh, I sincerely apologize. Let's say, for example, there was um, uh, a significant miscommunication and a lot of anger. And they were angry towards you. I sincerely apologize if in this or any lifetime I have been 
angry towards you, uh, disrespectful towards you, um, uh, expressed myself in a manner that was not loving and honorable towards you. You ask forgiveness for what you might have done to them. Uh, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for being this way towards me. I wish for us to resolve our conflicts in love and peace and harmony. Uh, and if I have been this way to your Jew, please forgive me. I forgive you unconditionally because you might in fact be reminding me, especially if I did this to you first. So I'm going to forgive you unconditionally and let us move forward in love, peace and harmony. Then you chant love, peace and harmony, which we chanted earlier. <clears throat> and that brings in this massive frequency that in essence self-clears the karma on the relationship and on the, um, the conversation. You chant five or ten minutes and then uh, you repeat as necessary. Repeat it two or three times a day, whatever is needed. Uh, the harder the problem, the more you repeat. Okay? That's an example. All right, let's move to the next person. Okay, welcome Janine. Welcome Debbie Davenport. <coughs> Namaste. Okay, Raven says, how can I help myself with a weight loss plan? All right. Great question. Everybody pay attention. I know all the women are listening. Dear the soul of my, uh, my body, the soul of my metabolizing system, the soul of all of my fat cells, the soul of my digestive processes, the soul of all of my organs and systems that are involved in my digestive processes. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. You're doing a phenomenal job, but I want you to ramp up your me metabolic processes for the fat cells. I want you to burn fat one million times faster than normal. You can do it. Do a good job. This is how you talk to them. All the souls inside your body are underneath your order okay if it's outside of you respect thank you God Jesus I love you could you please come if it's a soul inside your body soul of your organ system cells cell units you give it an order you give it love you tell it what to do okay <clears throat> but you do it with love dear uh, my soul uh, they're the soul of all of the negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, all of the times I've ever accepted false information about my beauty, about my weight, all the times I've ever put myself down. Uh, please come. Uh, all the times they're the soul of all of the uh, positive mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs about losing weight. Please come. Okay? They're the soul of positive choices. The soul of making the highest and best uh, choice when I am looking at food or choosing food. Please come to the soul of all the negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that have kept me from making the highest and best choice. Please come. I love you all. You all have the ability to transform and assist me with achieving this goal. <clears throat> you have the ability to bless me to manifest my ideal weight of, and you state that ideal weight. Do a great job. Every time, this is, you can do this. You say, soul order. This is exact verbiage. Soul order. My soul orders all of my organs, systems, metabolic system, cell, cell units, fat cells, and all of those involved in the burning fat process to burn my fat 24-7 and every time I chant love, peace, and harmony or any other mantra, you ramp up your fat cell burning so much more. Do a great job. Thank you. Now, what's the purpose of every soul? The purpose of every soul is to serve, right? They're happy to serve. Wow, this person's talking to us. Amazing. Oh, okay. She wants us to ramp up our metabolic processes. We can do that, right? And you do that. Also, in this book, get the new one, get a new version of it, okay, get a, uh, uh, make sure it's new. You can get a used one, but in the back is this. This is a CD. Let me read to you what's in this CD. 
This enclosed sample CD of my soul song for weight loss is my special gift. What is this called? Soul communication. Get the book, get the CD, put it on loop, okay? Play it all the time. Uh, there have been people that have said they have lost weight just by listening because the frequency changes the mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. At the end of all the soul communication, you ask forgiveness of all the times you may have uh, spoken negatively to yourself. Uh, and, and even when you catch yourself speaking negatively or you hear somebody talking about their negative weight, right? And, and you go, oh, that was my old thinking. Please forgive myself. I think only that, that my body is working a million times faster to metabolize. And you give yourself the right thinking. Uh, and then chant again. Why do we chant afterwards? Five minutes minimum. Because the Love, Peace, Harmony song, which I keep referring back to for a reason, it's a soul and every soul wants to serve. But not every soul has the same soul standing, guys. The source soul song of Love, Peace and Harmony has extraordinary frequency. It's just, it's just beyond crazy frequency and it can melt the blockages you just revealed that you ask it to melt. So wouldn't you want to melt them faster? I'm not talking about weight blockages. I'm talking about mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, and karma blockages that are causing you to hold on to the weight. That's what the song drills down on and, and, and releases. You get it? So this is another example. All right, let's go to the next one. I think a few people like that. I saw about a thousand happy faces. All right, so Linda asks, how do I do soul communication with my land that I've been trying to solve for three years? Oh, brilliant question. Okay. Dear the soul of my land, I love you. Please come. Dear the soul of all of those who have ever lived on this land, all of the contracts that have ever been associated with this land, including the current one to sell it, the soul of the realtors involved with the sale of this land. Could you please come? Dear the soul of any of the problems associated with this land, that are keeping it from being sold, including things beyond my awareness, such as vows, um, uh, unpleasant things that may have happened on this land, um, uh, uh, contracts that I'm unaware of that is, is making the soul of this land unhappy or unwilling to be sold. Could you please come? Do the soul of all of those interested in buying land. And then you state the address at da -da 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 da 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 All those that have the financial wherewithal and the perfect and right conditions uh, that would truly benefit from this land, please come. Okay, you, you could be a thousand souls could show up right there. Um, I love you, Ani, appreciate you all. My name is. This is my land. It's at this address. It is beautiful land. It has tremendous value and service that it can offer to many, many souls. It has water, it has agriculture, it has power, it has da 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 It has a house, you state everything that's on it. When you're talking to these souls, you tell them everything that's on your land and how it will benefit them, okay? Um, you speak to the soul of the land, to the soul of this land. I love you. I wish to sincerely apologize for not honoring you, not giving you uh, the love that maybe you deserve. You have been here for billions of years. You have served so many souls and it, you could be very, very upset or sad that I am letting you go. You, maybe you were happy when I talked about purchasing you for a dream that, that we had talked about and now I'm talking about selling you. And, and, you know, I haven't honored you respectfully. Um, I, I wish to sincerely apologize if you were excited about those dreams and, and that may not happen. Here's my promise to you, the soul of this land. I will, in all of my soul conversations, invite souls that not only will appreciate you, but will bring such a beautiful uh, opportunity to you to have that or better in your future. I can't make any promises, but I will ask for those kinds of souls to come to you that have the financial wherewithal to bring the greatest value to you. Um, 
they're all of the souls that had been on this land before. If there's been any negativity that has occurred here, I ask you to please release this negativity that when I chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, that you release the blockages. That you accept the love and the peace and the harmony and rise to heaven. Do the soul of my realtors and all of the contracts associated with this land. I love you. You have the ability to clear your blockages, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs about this land. As I chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, please bless this land to be cleared. Uh, bring love, peace and harmony. Then what I recommend is go out there to the land, play the song, do a forgiveness practice on the land, and if it's too far from you, then put a picture of the land in front of you and do this practice. You should do this multiple times to bring about the highest and best results, but it will absolutely bring about results. Okay? There you go. Now here's the thing, guys. I want you to pay attention, because you can go back and listen later. I want you to pay attention to the different souls that I'm inviting in and the different ways the communication is occurring, because it doesn't matter what it is. I want you to start to see the pattern of all the souls that can be called forth and how they can be communicated with and served. Okay? So, Maddie, how do I soul communicate with a person that struggles with commitment? Okay? So, got to be careful on this one because this could be win lose because um, it's their stuff in the bottom line. All right? And so, do the soul of this person, uh, do the soul of our relationship, d uh, please come in all lifetimes, our relationship in all lifetimes, please come. Do the soul of this person's. Uh, expression of their commitment blockages the soul of the root cause of their commitment blockages could you please come <clears throat> do the soul of the highest and best solution how many times do i say that guys please come so that's it it's it's important because this is when you get the aha moments you ask the soul of the highest and best solution to come you get these great moments uh, and you, oh, that's the solution. Why? Because you asked the soul to come. <clears throat> Dear the soul of um, the highest and best outcome for this relationship. Moving forward, could you please come? Because you do not want to have attachment. It could be that by doing this practice, because this same wisdom applies in any relationship, that the relationship gets stronger. Beautiful. Miracles happen. It could be that the relationship goes out of directions. Wait a minute, I'm doing this practice and it goes the other way. If you ask for what is highest and best according to divine plan, your soul's plan, it could go the other way. You have to know in your heart that that truly was the best scenario. It could go that you guys get together and everything's hunky-dory. Great. Never have attachment. Always do win-win. Always do for what is best. Okay. Uh, I love you, Ani, you appreciate you all, thank you for coming. My name is, I wish very much for this relationship to bond and for these concerns about um, commitment to be resolved. I wish for, as I chant, love, peace and harmony, for blessings to go to my spouse, blessings to go to all the relationship souls where he has had commitment concerns. To the soul of all those that my spouse and I have made promises to, vows to, but broken them, and their heart was broken, therefore they are concerned. All those that we have promised to love forever, but then it didn't happen. Please forgive my spouse, please forgive me for this in any lifetime. We have uh, made promises or vows to you, and your heart was so broken that you're now fearful of committing. For any other times in which we have done, said, or thought things to you that have caused you to be concerned about commitment, regardless of the source, please forgive me and my ancestors. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, could you please bless these areas and assist these souls with releasing these blockages? Please replace them as appropriate with trust, with knowingness that everything will work out well, if it is what is appropriate. And then you chant. Okay? Hope that serves you. All right. Sally Francis, she would like some help with finances. Beautiful. Another one everyone's going to align to. 
give me a chance to take a drink. <coughs> you guys loving this stuff? Let me see some happy faces. You liking this? You getting a lot of value out of it? <coughs> yeah, good stuff. <coughs> All right. Finances. Dear the soul of my finances. Do this please come. Do the soul of my relationship because you do have a relationship with my finances please come to the soul of all of my mindsets attitudes beliefs both positive and negative around finances financial flourishing wealth allowance of wealth in my life disallowance of wealth in my life please come I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please, please, please work with me in this practice. Dear the soul of all souls in all lifetimes that I and my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to, including if we have caused you to lose your job, said or did things, that might have harmed you physically, that caused you to have a lack of flourishing, said or did things to you or thought things about you that emotionally impacted you, caused such emotional trauma in your life that your flourishing of your finances was negatively impacted. The soul of all of those who mentally have been impacted, where they have created negative mindsets, attitudes and beliefs because of things that I might have thought, said or done around money. You're worthless, you'll never make anything. Uh, if I have ever, or my ancestors have ever, in any lifetime, spoken, thought, or done anything to harm you physically, emotionally, mentally, or in any way we have harmed your finances and your flourishing, please come. To the soul of the highest and best solutions, possibilities uh, for gaining financial flourishing, and flourishing in every aspect of my life. Please come. The soul of new ideas, possibilities, new businesses, and all of those uh, people, places, and things that can assist me with manifesting those. Please come. I love you, honor you, respect you all. My name is, first I wish to most humbly from my heart, on behalf of myself and my ancestors, sincerely apologize for any harm or suffering in all lifetimes that we have brought upon you. It is very clear to me, I have had significant financial blockages, so it is very clear to me that I and my ancestors have made very, very unpleasant choices in previous times. And truly there is no excuse for it. I would not wish this suffering upon any soul but it is clear that we have truly harmed many, many, many souls. I bow to all of those that I have ever harmed with the most sincere request for forgiveness. I know that asking for forgiveness is woefully insufficient, that I must serve others, that I must generate my own good karma and work this off. But I ask from my heart for your unconditional forgiveness. I promise to all of those souls that I and my ancestors have ever harmed, that I will not make these same mistakes again. I will not be greedy. I will not be corrupt. I will be honest as much as I possibly can. I will not harm others emotionally, physically, financially, mentally, uh, in ways that their flourishing is harmed. I will not make the same mistakes again. And with the financial flourishing I do receive, I promise to make others happier and healthier with portions of it so that I can continue this positive movement forward. I ask that all of you chant love, peace and harmony with me, that I ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony to help bless all of these souls to forgive me, bless my financial flourishing. I ask love, peace and harmony to bring to me the conditions in which I can be, remain more positive, be better in my manifesting, uh, remain more aligned to my soul in its journey. Uh, allow like-minded people with higher wealth uh, potential to come to me and generate wealth in my life. 
and then chant 5, 10, 15 minutes. You like this? Good stuff, huh? Okay, this is the last one. Health issues. This, this is good. This covers all the gamuts. <coughs> Shelly asks health issues. So this could work for anybody, okay? So I'm going to use a generic. You plug in your health issue. They're the soul of my health issue, my kidneys, my heart. I love you. They're the soul of my cells, all the energy and matter that makes up this organ and system. I love you. <clears throat> They're the soul of all of the organ systems, uh, all those that are, that are positively and negatively impacting my health for this condition. I love you. Could you please come to the Soul Conference? To the soul of the highest and best health potential I can have, the purest imagery, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that I can have on perfect health. Please come. To the soul of all of the negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs I've ever held about this health issue. Please come. To the soul of all those I've ever blamed for this health issue. Please come. Dear the soul of all those in all lifetimes that I or my ancestors have harmed and brought about as a result of our harm a health condition like the kind I have. Please, please, please come. Dear the soul of the natural and uh, modern medicine techniques, wisdoms, tools, uh, and um, um, uh, people that can best assist me with this health issue for the least amount of money, the least amount of effort, and the greatest return. Could you please come? I love you, honor you, respect you all, bow to you all, ask most humbly and sincerely for your assistance with resolving this health concern. I know that karma is the root cause of my health issue. I am very clear that I would be perfectly healthy if I had no karma. So I know that without a doubt, the suffering I am experiencing is as a result of I or my ancestors bringing harm to others. First and foremost, I wished all those to know that I have ever harmed whether I harmed you physically and it brought this to you, if I harmed you emotionally and you had a suffering in this area, if I give you or my ancestors created negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego or attachments and it created the suffering in your world, if I blocked your soul journey and it created suffering in this world, whatever the source was, I bow down to all of the souls that I and my ancestors have harmed with the most sincere request for forgiveness. I truly from my heart know your suffering and I ask from my heart for your forgiveness. I have learned my lessons. I will not make the same mistakes again. You do this. You do this sincerely. Sincerely, not pocket forgiveness. You could have far better results for it is the karma that keeps us in our health cycles. When we clear the karma, it's like clearing the grease slick off the mountain. Try climbing up a mountain with rocks on your back in a knapsack and grease over every rock and, 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 and brush and everything you're trying to walk up. You walk up, you slide back two steps more. The grease is the karma. Do your practices. Receive uh, blessings. Do what you need to clear the spiritual debts. Then whatever you throw at it, natural or otherwise, will have a far superior ex uh, a success. doesn't matter what it is, it will work better once you clear your spiritual debts. So you do that. Then you say, dear the soul of all of the possibilities for health, including the right mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, uh, the right herbs, natural remedies, uh, uh, and doctors and people that can assist me. I love you all. Please enter my field as quickly as possible. Assist me with bringing results as quickly as possible. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Uh, dear the soul of love, peace, and harmony. And then you repeat the process. Okay? So you can apply this to any health issue. The key 
is consistency. You do this every day, you will receive results. Karma brings the suffering. Forgiveness and love melts the blockages. Soul communication is recognizing that everything has a soul and is trying to serve you. How can you possibly um, get to the root of the issue if you don't recognize what the root is? How can you dissolve the root if you don't communicate with all of the souls involved in both the degradation and the healing process? Okay, so practice with it. The reason it's so fluid, I've been practicing for nine years, guys. The more you practice, the better it is. The more you practice, the smoother and easier it comes. It's fun when you start going, hey, I could talk to the soul of my car that's not been starting. I could give it love. Everything has a soul and wants to serve you. You will be amazed how creative your mind can get when you start to open yourself up to the possibilities, okay? It is miraculous when you start applying it. Remember, use love, peace, harmony to melt the blockages, but use it to serve. The secret to all of this, guys, don't use it for yourself. Use it to serve others. So when you chant, dear love, peace, and harmony, could you please offer this blessing to all of the souls that have the same suffering I am having right now? I wish to do this unconditional service to all of these souls. And I invite all of those souls that have been invited here to also chant to serve all those other souls that have the same suffering. When you are truly, from your heart, offering that unconditional service, you have a very high possibility of realigning to your original source. So it has been my honor to serve you. I have a feeling based on the amount of happy faces and thumbs up, you were served well. Uh, remember that I do offer services for clearing blockages of all kinds. They're reasonable. They start at 50 and they go up to 300 or more, but it saves lives and it can change your world. So contact me through my uh, webpage or through Facebook or through, um, through a messenger. And remember to think about me for your friends, okay? I can help them also. Thank you, Kristen, for your unconditional service and all your posts. Tomorrow, I have some other good stuff for you. Please show up. Tell your friends about us. If you like it and you're new, hit the subscribe button. And remember to go to my website, asoulhealer.com. I've got all this on podcast, too, if you prefer listening uh, on your cell phone. All right. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Bye-bye, everybody.